Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 79. Today's our last muscle up progression before we actually just get right into a regular muscle up unassisted. Now, since the last muscle up progression, it should be the one that we that we do last, okay? That means that we already made sure that we had dip strength, okay? We tested out whether we could do 10 dips from a stable surface, five dips from an unstable surface. We then tested our pulling strength. We were able to pull to our chin, to our chest, and to our belly button. All right, and then we practiced and tried a couple of our ring dip progressions uh, on the transition itself. We either did it sitting in the band, like we did a couple days ago, or we did it actually standing up, pulling to deload um, the pull, which would allow our transition to be a little bit lighter. Today, what I'm gonna do is actually the reverse. So, I'm in a stairwell today. This is not where I'd ever suggest to do it, okay? What the setup that I'd like to see is rings on a rig, next to a box but here's what you want to have you want to be able to stand in a position or at least bring your feet up so you can hang okay because what you're going to do is the eccentric portion so the negative of a ring uh, of a ring muscle up and uh and it's essential that you be able to get back down to the full hang position to to capture the full range of motion of this full eccentric load on it but at the same time since we can't get up into a dip or uh, into a ring dip or a ring muscle up yet we need to have something that gets us back up there. So picture a box or something else that would allow us to jump up but be on the side. I'm going to use a handrail of the stairs because that's just what I do for my country. No, uh, being serious, uh, be safe with this. Don't do it like I'm doing it. I'm doing it just for demonstration purposes only. Here's the way it would look like without any band assisted stuff. I'm going to get onto here. I'd be standing my one foot onto a box, right? Elbows get back down behind me, and I press up into a full dip, okay? This is my top of my position. I'm just going to do a negative. Elbows stay in real, real tight here. My shoulders get down to where the rings touch the top of my shoulders. And all I'm going to try to do is lower myself down really slow. Then I'm going to walk back up. Except I wouldn't be walking upstairs. I'd be stepping in a box, and I would repeat. Now, here's the thing. You can scale this by adding a band to it. I'm not a big fan of using a band with your knees here. I've tried it before with other athletes and I've hit them in the face with it. So I'm telling you, probably shouldn't do it like that. That's why you see me do a little bit different band uh, set up than you might see in other gyms. I just like to step on it because I know that I could step on it and hold it with my foot and I'm just safer that way. So again, picture me stepping up onto the box same exact thing's gonna happen except now I have a band that will slow me down just a little bit, okay? I started my full dip position. My shoulders are externally rotated out, elbows in tight. I get down to the bottom of that dip position, nice and slow. Elbows come in, and I relax on myself all the way down. As you can see, all that is is the reverse of the transition. We're practicing the negative to get stronger at doing the concentric motion of it. Guys, try this out. Deload as necessary, but make sure you have the pulling strength and make sure you have the stability to be on top of the rings before you do that. Until tomorrow, guys, we're optimizing function to optimize function. To optimize function to optimize performance.